Hey guys, Derek from our place from Today we are going to be talking about dry scooping. Yes, this is the uh, a very prevalent and uh, growing trend, I guess, in the uh, pre-workout space. And you know who would know better than me, seeing like fucking s s 50 tags a day of like people dry scooping or showing their pre's or whatever. And one thing that I kind of wanted to bring up that I think often goes overlooked potentially is the fact that, and by the way, I don't, the, the title is a bit like, you know, dramatic for, you know, YouTube, but in reality, like I don't actually fucking care if you dry scoop or not, but I'm just going to say why you may want to potentially reconsider. So, you know, up to now, especially with mode and nitric, these are scoops that contain a shit ton of powder. Like there's a lot of ingredients per scoop and the full dose being two scoops, you can imagine how much you're dry scooping when you use this shit. And I see people, you know, bit fucking, choking on <laughs> choking on the fucking scoop because there's so much ingredients that they're trying to swallow at one time with as little of water as possible but i don't really know if people realize that water is literally what facilitates the effects the mechanism of action of many of the pump ingredients in these products so this is the pre-workout that has has no stems but is totally maxed out in the traditional arginine enos nitric oxide pathway and then it also features something else which is not in mode by the way it's the uh nitrate to nitrite to nitric oxide pathway and obviously the hyper hydrating ingredients as well they're featured in uh both products but this one has a higher dose with the five grams of creatine mono obviously this has five grams five grams creatine as well but this one has um four grams of betaine anhydrous as opposed to the lower dose in mode as well as a higher dose of glycer pump and then obviously if you really want to max it out you would use the glycerol separately which you can add 10 grams per scoop to your pre-workout as needed based upon you know whatever type of exercise you're doing you know is it super necessary for uh you know just a one hour workout probably not but obviously you can get pretty stupid pumps by adding another extra 10 grams of glycerol to your pre-workout but people don't really consider the fact that a lot of this shit is facilitated by water <laughs> like and obviously too there's the uh ACE inhibition with VasoDrive AP2, but these are, you know, there's the vasodilation component and there's a hyperhydrating component are the two kind of main vectors by which this product enhances pumps, enhances overall like mind muscle connection, connection, et cetera, as well as improving um, the ability to deal with uh, lactic acid potentially as well and other kind of uh, mediums of performance enhancement. But again, circling back to the hyperhydrating shit, like what, how does creatine work? How does betaine and hydrous work as an osmolite? How does glycer pump work? Look at what it needs in order to do what it's supposed to do. And you realize pretty quickly, like, oh shit, an adequate amount of water is probably a good idea. So I'm not saying that it's not going to work if you don't use water with your pre, but some of this stuff, like, I don't even, I don't know how well your digestive system is going to handle it when it's just like dry scooped and you have like a little bit of fucking water with it. Like ideally you would have it with the recommended amount of water in it, especially if you really want to leverage the maximum effects of the, you know, betaine anhydrous, creatine monohydrate, um, glycer pump, etc. That kind of shit is not something you're going to get what you're supposed to get out of it without any water in your system. So, you know, obviously, you know, what's the difference between one shaker of water and like a sip of water when, you know, you're probably well hydrated before going to the dry scoop, ideally. But still, like some of this stuff is going to just be handled better by your digestive system too when it's in water. So again, not saying you shouldn't do it. I just thought this was a good video to bring up because I think a lot of people are hopping on the bandwagon of it's like a trendy thing to do rather than like they actually want to do it necessarily. Like it's fine if you want to like skip the taste, you want to like do it quicker, you want to be efficient, I guess. But it's like, I see people literally like struggling to dry scoop and they're like fucking it up and like choking on powder and shit. I'm like, dude, like, is it that hard? to mix in fucking 14 ounces of water. And we go out of our way to flavor these well. So it's not like it's that hard to sip on, you know? We have very good flavor systems that we've worked long and hard on, and they handle even ingredients that taste like shit, like Kana, like pretty well. Like frankly, I think Mode, most of the flavors taste pretty fucking good considering how much Kana and other shit there is in there. Like when you look at the actual actives per scoop, it's a ridiculous amount. And somehow we still manage to have better tasting pre than most other companies, which to me is fucking like, very, very impressive that we've even managed to have tolerable flavor systems, let alone ones that actually taste good. So especially with nitric, where we don't have to deal with any of the con or some of the other um, stimulant related products and whatnot, like it's not that hard to flavor. Like it's pretty fucking good, to be honest, despite the, you know, maxed out fucking, like how many actives do we have in here in total? We have a 16.95 gram scoop, 34 grams when you're using two scoops. Now, to me, I actually like sipping it, dude. So like, obviously, <laughs> again, if you don't like the taste, dry scoop, whatever you want, I'm just saying, again, circling back to the creatine, the betaine, the gly glycerol, 
et cetera, getting the most bang for your buck, like what you're actually paying for when you use an adequate amount of water. So just keep that in mind. And um, yeah, I have, I have yet to see somebody talk about dry scooping on YouTube. I just see people uh, talking about, you know, literally doing it, but then no one talking about why they find it preferable. Now, again, I would assume it's either A, it's trendy, B, it's efficient, um, C, they don't like the taste, like whatever it is, like I can understand the reasons, but at the end of the day, you know, do what you will. I'm just saying what I do personally, and like, there's a reason it's on the suggested use a certain way. So, you know, take from that what you will. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you, uh, how do you like, uh, <laughs> how's uh, the dry scooping going? Have Are you more of a, how many dry scoopers do we have of mode and nitric in here? versus uh like by the way for stem not as big of a deal if you dry scoop for it's not it's more the thing that is literally facilitating your exercise performance enhancement via water that's the only thing to consider so anyways thank you guys for watching like subscribe check out my blog moreplacemoredates.com let me know if you are a dry scooper or a normal drinker of pre-workout <laughs> in the comments down below interested to see the uh, ratios um and uh yeah if you want to support the channel obviously you can check out gorilla mind um fortunately we're actually in a place now where we have all of our shit or at least you know our main flagship products okay maybe not all of them but a decent amount of them like mode we have several flavors in stock for the first time ever that we're not totally out of stock of it stuff like that so you know if you want to support the channel you can check it out you can use the coupon code in the video description to save 10 percent off your order obviously there are sales held on a very regular basis so keep your eye out for those because you will uh, be able to save a lot of money if you wait for those and yeah anything else i'm associated with it's all in the video description below thank you guys for watching talk to you soon